All right, Honors Algebra 2 for Tuesday the 26th and Algebra 2 for Thursday the 28th. We are in the Matrix Game Plan. All right, and we are on page three. Can you guys all have this Matrix Game Plan? Let's print that sucker out. You will be turning in a hard copy to me. So if you don't have it printed out, we'll write this on a separate sheet of paper and then get it printed out at home or you go just print it to the IMC, okay? It was sent to you. Um, and you can, uh, you don't even have to have it totally save. You just hit the little print button there and send it to the IMC. So, um, here we are on page three. So we're going to talk about matrix and multiplication. We're going to first do it by hand. Then I'm going to show you how you can do it on your calculator. Yay. You're going to need the TI 84 pluses. So go over to my, uh, pause this video. And also, I mean, it's in, it's in the, uh, you know. So hopefully you have the TI-84 already. Go over to my little calculator pouches there. And um, grab them. You do, yeah, you need the TI-84 plus because you, you need the matrix application. So if each, uh, so here's what you do. You can multiply matrices if the number of uh, columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows in the second matrix. If those two numbers are equal, then you can multiply uh, matrices together and they're gonna have the following dimensions. M times T. So then AB will have dimensions M times T. You can multiply them together, okay? So it's not like addition and subtraction where they have to have the same uh, dimensions. No, no, no. There's got to be a special relationship and that's the number of row, uh, columns of the first one equals the number of rows of the second one. Those two inner numbers have to equal. So can I multiply A and B together? I look at those two inner numbers. 4 equals 4. So I say yes. And I say my matrix new one is going to be A and it's going to have dimensions 3 by 4. Can I mean, uh, these are I can add and subtract these two, they have the same dimensions, but three doesn't equal five. Three doesn't equal five, so no. I can't multiply those two together. Can I multiply these two together? Six and six, they're equal, so I say yes. And I say matrix AB, I'm sorry, this should be AB. Matrix AB is gonna have dimensions four by three. On four, can I multiply these two together? Three is equal to three. So I say yes. And I say matrix A, B. Keep forgetting about that B. A, B is going to be two by one. Oh, these have the same dimensions. I say no, but uh, nope, nope, nope. A square matrix is very special. Two simply equals two. So yes, I can multiply them together. And A, B are all still going to have dimensions two by two. So square matrix is so special. So a three by one and a one by three, one equals one. Again, those inner two numbers equal. So I say yes, and AB is gonna be a three by three. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this by hand because you might, some of you keep continuing to take math, might take a class all about the matrices for the most part called linear algebra, and you can bet your bottom and top dollar you're gonna be doing this by hand. All right, so here's what we can do. I'm going to do this by hand, and then I'm going to show you using the calculator. Folks, we're almost four minutes in. I forgot to mention my sponsors. Cliff Bar, the lovely Rocky Mountain National Park. Huh? That's this park there, Colorado, at the base of it. And one of my favorite Dr. Seuss's, there's a locket in my pocket. Folks, do you ever feel like there's a wasket in your basket? my foot. Well, I currently got a wasket in the basket. All right. Let's do this by hand. Trying to, obviously, as you can see, my massive bandage cast that thankfully will be coming off uh, on Tuesday. So today is Monday and on Tuesday I will hopefully get a lighter cast. All right. So I'm going to try to keep this elevated, but I'm going to get a little closer to the paper for these. So by hand, find the product of AB. So it's all about row by column. I'm gonna take the first row and multiply by the first column to find the first row, first column number. So first off, jump the gun. Can I multiply these two together? A is a two by two and B is a two by two. Two is equal to two. So yes, I can multiply them together and my answer is gonna be a two by two. So here's what I do. I give us a lot of space. I 
take the first row by the first column. So I take negative three and I multiply it by negative one. That's a positive three. And then I add it to five times three. I do negative three times a negative one, then I do add it to five times three. And that is gonna be my first row, first column number, because I multiply the first row by the first column. Thus, that is my first row, first column number. Excellent. And then, honestly, like if we do this in class and I have you type it in and I do it in my head, um, doing it by hand's actually a lot quicker than typing everything into your calculator. So then I do the first row by the second column. Negative three times zero is zero, plus five times two is 10. First row, second column is 10. Then I've done, I've, you know, think of it like, well, I've done that first row has gone to both those columns. So now it's time for the second row. Second row goes with the first column. So four times a negative one plus negative two times three. That's a negative 10. My second row, first column is a negative 10. Four, so then I do my second row times my second column. Four times zero is zero plus negative two times two. It's negative four. And that's it. That is my answer. So no, it's not like, oh, I do negative three times negative one, three, then I do five times zero. No, so that's, that's not a good error. Um, so don't do that, please. All right, we'll practice another one by hand here. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna show you scapula. I think um, when we get to 10 through 13 on page four, we should have you there. All right, but definitely gonna do this one, maybe a few more by hand as well. So can I even multiply A and B together? So A is a w one row by three columns, one by three. If you're ever confused like row and column, just know like columns go up and down. Columns of homes, columns of anything, they go up and down. So the one that goes up and down has to be a column, the other one has to be a row. So this is a three by two, and look at that, the threes are equal. My answer is gonna be a one by two, so my answer is gonna be this, something like that. Okay, so again, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show my work down here this time, because my answer is a one by two. Okay, so I do this first row, which is the only row by that column. Four times a negative two is a negative eight. Negative seven times a negative one is a seven. Three plus zero, is a zero. Then I do the first row, which is again the only row, by second count. Four times one is four, plus negative seven times three is negative 21, plus three times four is 12. Add them up, get negative five. Negative one, negative five is my product. Okay, I am going to do, so let's then turn the page. Let's go to page four. And this is the last one here that I will do by hand. So in regular multiplication, you know, five times four is equal to four times five. So does A times B equal B times A? Well, let's find out. So let's first do, it's actually going to be two different products. Let's do A times B. Um, so two by two, two by two, doesn't matter if I flip it, your answer is gonna be two by two. So yes, I can find the product. This is A times B. Now, so write all that out. I'm gonna kind of show you how you can do it in your noggin. So I'm gonna do the first row by the first column. Negative seven times a negative one is seven. Seven plus two times three. Seven plus six is 13. Then I do the first row by the second column. Negative seven times two is a negative 14 plus two times a negative two is a negative four. Negative 14 plus a negative four is a negative 18. Then I do the second row by the first column. Negative three times negative one is three plus 18. Three plus 18 is 21. Negative three, or for the second row times the second column, negative three times two is a negative six, plus six times a negative two is a negative 12, and negative six plus a negative 12 is a negative 18. So that is A times B. Does that equal B times A? 
So B times A is going to be this. All right, again, I'm going to just kind of do the work in my noggin. Again, it's just arithmetic here. First row by first column. Negative 1 times a negative 7 is 7, plus 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6. 7 plus a negative 6, 1. So we have our answer, but we're going to keep going. Negative 1, uh, first row by the uh, second column, negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2, plus 2 times 6. Again, negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2, plus 2 times 6 is 12. Negative 2 plus 12 is 10. Then I do the second row by the first column. 3 times negative uh, 7 is a negative 21, plus negative 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6. Negative 21 plus 6, negative 15. And then I do this by this. 3 times 2 is 6, plus negative 2 times 6 is a negative 12. 6 plus a negative 12 is a negative 6. Does AB equal BA? All right, so here is what, um, goodness, this one's too easy. So I'm not, we're just gonna do this one together. We're gonna take number 10 together and then I'll help you out. And with 11, you can use, the, you can use that calculator. So you have a one by two, one row, two columns by a two by two. So your answer is gonna be another one by two. All right. So I do the first row, which is the only row by the first column. Eight times a negative three is a negative 24, and I'm gonna add that to a negative four times a negative two, which is an eight. First row, first column is a negative 16. And then I do the first row, which is again the only row, times the second column. Eight times five is 40, plus negative four times four is negative 16. Add those two together and you get 24. So that one is so easy to do. All right, so. Again, you're gonna have calculators, you can use them. There's not gonna be a non-calculator part. I kind of changed its test. This is maybe the easiest test of the year. So here's what, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go, turn your calculator on. Okay, I don't, this is not, this is not the best. So you see that, you see right there in blue, it says matrix. What's well, a, it's one in blue, so you have to hit second. You're gonna hit second, x to the negative first. We're gonna do that a lot. Hit second, x to the negative first. All right, we got names, math, edit, bracket there. Two brackets, that's for a matrix. So I need to edit a matrix. So I go over to edit, and then I hit A, and I hit enter. I'm gonna ask you, <laughs> what are the dimensions of A? Well, both A and B here are two by twos. So A is a two, so I hit two, enter, two, enter. A is a two by two, and if I make a mistake, I just go up arrows, okay? And just type over it. So you gotta type in what's in A, 10, negative two, negative five, and three. So I hit uh, 10, enter, negative two, <laughs> enter, negative five, enter, and then three, enter. All right, then I hit uh, second x to the negative first again, and I go over to edit, and I go down to b. I need to edit b. See how long this is gonna take? <laughs> what's b? b is another two by two, so I hit two, enter, two, enter. And I type in what's in b, one, four, five, negative two. So I hit uh, one, enter, four, enter, five, enter, negative two, enter. And when I've done that, when I've edited B, I hit second mode, I quit out. Second mode. I wanna multiply A times B. So I need A and B next to, next to each other on my home screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit second X to the negative first again. And where it says names A, I simply hit enter. Look at my home screen, it says A. I wanna multiply it by B. I don't need to put times B, I just need to put B right next to it. So then I hit second X to the negative first. And I go down to B, where it says names B, and I hit enter. On my screen, it says A times B. I hit enter. There it is. That's my answer. So say used calc, and the product is 0, 44, 10, negative 26. Now, let's say surefire where to get the answer, as long as you type everything in correctly. It takes a while, though. 
takes a good long time <laughs> to type things in. Now you can be a lot quicker. I would recommend we do that again here. We got A, we got a B. Let's make sure we can do it. We got a two by three and a three by three. Oh, a uh, lot of noise here. We got someone outside working on something for us. Uh, Yogi has <laughs> he's taking a little vacation in another room because he'll just bark, 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 if not. So Yogi is fine if you hear him <laughs> asking for <laughs> a release. Um, okay. So I'm going to type this in. I'm going to I'm gonna find this answer. My answer is going to be a two by three, which is what A looks like. So we're going to type this into the calculator. I hit second, X and negative first. I go to edit, edit A. A is a two by three. So I hit two, enter, three, enter. And I start typing numbers in. You're going to see my hand here. Negative four, enter, three, enter, two, enter, negative one, enter, negative five, enter, and four, enter. There it is. Make sure you hit enter on four. Then I hit second, X to negative first. I go back to edits. I go down to B. What is B? It's a three by three. Let's say I make a mistake and I'm like, oh, that's not good. That's a three by two. I simply scroll up and I change the dimensions. Three by three. Two, one, six, eight, four, negative one. Biggest errors we see later on are with negative signs. Make sure you have them. Looks good. Then I hit second mode. Quit out. Uh, well, A times B was the last thing I put on my screen. So I'll, I can hit, uh, was the last command I give, so I could hit enter again. Okay. Now if you didn't like that, you just go second, X to negative first, names A. Second, X to negative first, names B. Look at that, same answer. And it's a two by three. So again, you're gonna say used calc. Make sure you give me the dimensions, show this work. Just write everything that I do. If you want full credit, which is what you do. All right, nice, very good. Let's do this one more time. What do we have? We have a two by four and a four by two. So my answer is gonna be a simple two by two. All right. That's a lot of typing. So you guys try that one. <laughs> Second, X to negative first, edit A. A is a two by four, two, five, three, negative one, negative three, one, eight, negative three. Second, X to negative first, edit B. What's B? It's a four by two, six, negative three, negative five, negative one, negative two, bunch of negatives, zero. Five, negative three. Second mode. All right. The last command I gave was A times B, so I'm just going to hit it. That's a two by two. All right. Negative 24. If you didn't get what I got, you probably typed something in incorrectly. So just go back and look. Or I did. Okay. Hopefully that didn't happen. All right. So that's how we use the calculator, and we are quite far in here minutes wise so actually all right so again here's what you can do you can use the calculator for the bottom part so this is page five is the product defined if so state the dimensions three and three are equal so i say yes and i say pq is going to be a two by four a two by four Three is equal to three, so again, I say yes, and I say A, B is gonna be a five by one. Two, I can add and subtract these because they have the same dimensions. Two does not equal three, so I say no. Four is equal to four, uh, and O times P is gonna be a number, one single number, one by one. And then I say, yes, XY is a three by two. And then I say, yes, YW is a two by three. All right, look, this one is way too easy. So this is a two row by one column, and this is a one row by two columns. This one's not great because all you do is actually just multiplying the numbers together because there's only one number in each row. 
So uh, you're gonna be left with a two by two and the only number in its row by the only number in its column, 12. The only number in its row by uh, the only number in the second column. The only number in its row by the only number in its column. The only number in its row by the only number in its column. All right. So I told you before, you're not simply just gonna multiply the numbers together, get your answer. Well, that one you do, that one is very special. All right, folks, you may use, sorry, you may use your calculators for the other two. If you do use your calculators, let me know. Um, again, practice that. We need to know this. Don't just simply copy down the answers. You need to know how to type this into your calculator. All right. I, uh, to save time, because this is, I don't want this to be, you know, a 30 minute video, I am going to multiply them in my noggin. All right. Again, you're going to have yes. Your answer is going to be a two by two. Two times negative four is a negative eight. Add that to a negative three, negative 11. I do the first row by the second column. Two times two is four plus a negative five, negative one. And then I do the second row by the first column. Four times negative, uh, I'm sorry, one times negative four is negative four. Negative four plus a negative 24 is a negative 28. Then I do the second row by the second column. Two times plus a negative 40, goodness, negative 38. All right, then lastly, we have a two by three and we have a three by one. So I'm gonna be left with a two by one, which is two numbers like that. One number, second number. First row by the only column. That is a 36 plus six, we're at 42. Minus 63. Again, tie these in your calculator. You have a two by three and a three by one. Tie these in your calculator, check me. And do the second row by the only column. This times this is a negative 12. Plus 14 is a negative two. I'm sorry, negative 12 plus 14 is a positive two. Two plus a negative nine is a negative seven. Okay, what do we got on this last page? All right, so this last page is just, um, this is page 11. And uh, I'm doing example three. I don't know, maybe I've skipped one, two for a different reason. Or maybe it starts at three, I forget. Because this file is 10, so maybe it just it starts with three. Oh, okay, I gotta adjust my foot here. Um, I'm simply just subtracting, so negative two minus a negative four is two. Six minus two is four, just corresponding. Negative three minus three is a negative six. Eight minus a negative five is eight plus five, 13. Uh, I'm subtracting again. Five minus a negative three is eight. Negative seven minus two is negative nine. Four minus a negative two, six. Negative one minus four is negative five. Three minus zero is three. Seven minus three is four. All right, how do I solve for x? Well, what does x plus eight correspond with? 38. x plus eight must be 38, x is 30. So negative y must equal, I wouldn't set negative five equal negative five or three equal three, that's just duh. Uh, I would set negative y equal to four y minus 10. I'm gonna move that over, negative y is equal to a negative 10, y is two. I'm a fan of those, you might see those again. Here, 3x must equal negative 9. x is a negative 3. 4y, or 4 then, is equal to negative 3 plus y. y7. Awesome. And lastly, so x is a matrix. This matrix plus this matrix is that matrix. What do I need to do? It's just like if I'm solving a regular equation to subtract, I need to do the opposite. So I need to subtract that matrix. All right, so I don't need to rewrite these. I'm doing 10 minus a negative one, 11. Seven minus zero, seven. 10 minus, I'm sorry, negative four minus two, negative six. Four minus five, negative one. And that is what matrix X is. I use, 
use this to show it's a matrix. All right, folks, that video is definitely long enough. When we are done, we're going to continue on this with the graphing calculator tomorrow. This is Yak Math Videos, and we are signing out.